Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to Cooking with Kay. Today, I am going to teach you how to make a delicious Irish moss, otherwise known as sea moss. Um, this bag costs $6.36 from the Korean store. I see a lot of people charging folks upwards to $60 I saw on Instagram. Mm, $6, people. Not trying to stop anybody's side hustle. Just giving you a, the flavor on what's out here. And that you can make your own. You can actually even buy this on Amazon. Um, or any uh, vegetable store, Korean vegetable store, or any West Indian vegetable store will definitely have your sea moss. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to clean it, how to wash it, how to take out all of the impurities that is inside of it, especially the sand. You're gonna need to wash it quite a few times to get, or and soak it to get all of the sand and all of the impurities out of it. You're gonna need some agave, some vanilla essence, uh, a little bit of Himalayan salt, some vanilla extract. You're gonna need a whole nutmeg. I use a whole nutmeg and cinnamon and a cinnamon stick. Um, so I don't like a lot of flavor in my sea moss because I add it to uh, my smoothies. It gives you a little bit more protein. It also gives you a nice texture and flavor. Um, so therefore, I only use these select uh, flavors in my sea moss. Anyway, stay tuned. I will show you step by step how to make this, and you can um, enjoy it like I do. Thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Please like, share, and subscribe to this. Tell your friends. Tell your countrymen, even tell people you don't even know. Say, hey, I know this girl, and it's called Cooking with Kate, and she has a YouTube channel. Yes, won't you do it? Be right back. So this part, you're going to put some cold water, take the sea moss, put it in the water, sift through it, make sure all of the sand is out. I did, washed mine and soaked it for about two hours because it was gross. So you're gonna need to do that first. So now you add five cups of water and your two cinnamon sticks. Let that boil up for a bit. You add your sea moss that's already clean to the boiling water and it's going to turn into like a gelatin type consistency. Stir that for a bit, and then you want it to cool. Remove it from the heat and let it cool down for about two hours. Once it's cooled down, you put it into your blender. You're gonna add a tablespoon of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of agave, you're going to add a tablespoon of your almond essence and a teaspoon of your Himalayan salt. And now you put in your, into your blender, mix it around for a bit. Now you add your coconut milk. and your nutmeg. You grate the nutmeg onto the top of the liquid. And then once that's grated and you're done grating the nutmeg, you're going to mix it again. And once it's mixed again, it's done. You don't need to do anything else. Don't drop the nutmeg like I did just now. Just finish, finish blending it, make sure that it's all incorporated, and then you just add some ice, store it into your mason jars in the refrigerator, and that's basically it. You mix everything up again, and you have a finished product. Thank you for tuning in to Cooking with Kay. Please make sure you subscribe, like, and share this 
with your friends. I appreciate you. There's a finished product.